Warrior Nun is an American fantasy drama web TV series created by Simon Barry and stars Alba Baptista in the lead role, marking her debut in an English series. The series debuted on Netflix on July 2, 2020. The TV series is based on the comic book character Warrior Nun Ariella by Ben Dunn. Now, I have to be very frank with you. I have never heard of this comic at all. I haven't read it. I haven't seen it. So I'm purely basing it off of the series alone. And quite frankly, I was a bit disappointed by it. But I can understand how there are might be some fans for this uh, series. Now, because there are some parts which I dislike in this series, there are mm, which may be liked by some of the fans of the series. I really don't think it's a bad series at all, but the execution of certain say, scenes, certain parts in the series was very much of a letdown for me. Now, this is Alba's first American web series, so I I really don't she did a wonderful job as the character but the problem was her role itself I really didn't like this character at all everything she did was so wrong in every way that even by the end of the series, I really didn't give a damn about her. I mean, her failing would actually give me a smile. That's how much I hated that character. This is mostly because of the first half of the series, like the first five to six episodes of the series. And since the majority of the series is mostly focused on her uh, and her being the lead, she was very unlikable for me, but I can understand how some people might actually be attracted to a trait like that. It's just that it wasn't right for me. And the first half of the series has its own problems. It takes away from the superpower-esque genre into a love story when I think the end of the series, and this is only the first season, so I don't know. Maybe he has more of a role in the coming seasons. But just basing it off the first series, uh, season one alone, the boy didn't really have any role in this series. Everything was on her, and I kind of liked the idea that she was given a choice as to whether to stay or you know explore the world and i like the fact that she decided to go and explore it but the problem lied in the way it was executed instead of her being by herself and really knowing what the world has to offer and what the good side and the bad side of the world and her experiencing for herself it delves into this love story which for me was so boring even the dialogues, I really hate the dialogues in the series because there are some dialogues which worked while the majority of it was a complete dumpster fuck. I really hated the dialogues. And that's usually where all the negatives of this series end for me because the rest of it is really damn good for a low, uh, for a budget such as this. I understand the CGI for a series is obviously going to be less than that of a movie. The CGI is terrible, but compared to Indian serials, it's, it's, it's like Bahubali levels compared to an Indian serial. So I'm not complaining there, but this is an American TV series and yeah, the special effects was a really bit of a letdown. but. It's better than Indian serials. That's the short version of it because the designs are awful. I hated the designs, but the action scenes for most part was really well executed. Whenever the nuns, and I'm not talking about the main lead, whenever the nuns, the supporting cast was fighting with each other or fighting with an uh, enemy of some sort, it was really engaging. I really wanted more of that and unfortunately it's only like 40 40 to 50 percent of the series toya turner as sister mary or shotgun mary as she's nicknamed 
is the best character in the series her interactions with anyone and the fact that she's the only person besides alba but in the beginning she's the only person in the church who actually uses profanity and really doesn't give a damn about it she's she's the best character in the uh, series tecla ruten i'm sorry if i'm saying these names wrong it's just it's a very difficult name to pronounce tecla ruten has jillian is uh yeah the way they presented her at first i thought it was like you know it's just another villain who is basically human i really didn't understand the point at first but as the series progressed i kind of understood she has way more to offer and especially uh, after the last scene in which she's in she really has way more to offer in the role and her performance was very well done apart from sister mary if i have to choose another best character it's the lorena andrea as sister lilith she is one of the best performers in this series not in terms of combat in terms of performance i liked her the most the way she emotes is very well executed her rivalry with the main character is one of the best plot points in the movie and the way she becomes overcome by her own pride and decides to go on a killing uh, decides to go and kill alba it's one of the best scenes and the way she struggles when she uh, when something happens to her i'm not going to spoil which one it's oh, it's one of the best things which i have seen and the end part although i kind of wish she contributed a bit more you know give her a bit more of a boost in power i'm not talking about alba level but when the last episode happens it was so much of a let down it's much more like a bitch slap and she flies across the room even though she's shown to have the second most powerful being in the good side uh, and i kind of wanted more scenes of her you know struggling with the good and bad and the constant voices in her head uh, unfortunately we get very few of those i kind of wish that in the future seasons this becomes much more explored and come into a bit more of a fruition tristan ulua as father vincent is a very uh normal character he does the role fine but when the twist happens in the series and it's in the last episode uh it was so predictable as to what was going to happen especially since when they shown very clearly what is going to happen the first part in which he becomes the mentor to alba's character is honestly one of the few good scenes which i found enjoyable the moment she leaves that to go explore the world to you know eventually get trapped in this love story uh, it was that's when the series started to go down whenever we saw this character father vincent character in the series it's one of the highlights and when father vincent and sister mary and uh, lilith character um, all three comes together it was one of the best things in the series and it's because of all this that i'm giving warrior nun a 6 out of 10 it's an above average series <sighs> honestly i kind of wish that the second uh, season would evolve a bit a bit more and focus more on uh, this alba character with the nuns as it should have instead of going towards this love story make that more of a secondary thing because the majority of the series focused too much on that and it was way too much of a letdown i don't know if indian audiences would be okay with this but i can understand the series having a bit more of an audience but the series was not for me is the short form of it i don't mind a second season if it's uh, you know an improvement over the current season but as it is now it's i it, i just say watch it once and then forget about it and that's all for my review of warrior nun if you like this video please hit that like button please share this video with your friends and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon too so that i keep coming on to your feed and i'll see you in the next video bye yeah.